Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Well, it's that time of the year again where we change our clocks. So, hope you guys remember to change your clocks and those of you that were out late last night changing the clocks on your medical equipment. I feel for you, man. I really do. However, today's uh, video, I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention that it seems like there, there was an interesting article on ECRI that talked about servicing of medical equipment and the requirements that the FDA puts on manufacturers. Basically, and I'm, I'm going to put this as an excerpt, but basically there is no requirements whatsoever, according to the FDA, for manufacturers to support medical equipment at all after it's sold. That means no parts, no service, and obviously in order to maintain things like... Um, you know, the company image, they're, they're going to support. And obviously, it's a very lucrative industry. So that's why they try to uh, support the items for a certain period of time. But unlike automotive, where they have X amount of years that they're supposed to support something, they could end a life an item at any moment that they want. And right after they sell an item, they don't have to support it at all. How crazy is that? Could you imagine if a company uh, came out with a brand new line of anesthesia machines, and then right off the bat, they decided, yeah, we're not going to support it. What if they sold a whole bunch of these to the government or something? And then come to find out, they said, yeah, um, we're not going to support it. Maybe there's a critical flaw. Maybe they come out with some new, um, some new technology and they want to support that one now. So according to the FDA, there is no official quantity of time that an item has to be supported and that is very concerning because I, I mentioned cars as an example but many many medical devices out there I would venture to say a good share of them cost more than the average car so if it costs more than a car there's more risk if there's more risk you think that they would establish minimum criteria for support but there isn't any or at least that's my take from the ECRI article and their word as they say they've been in communication with the FDA. Interesting. Take a look. I'll leave a link in the video description where you can see what they actually had to say for themselves verbatim. But it appears that there does not have to be any support whatsoever for a medical device after it's sold. What a crock. Anyway, hope you guys have a good weekend. Change your clocks. Thanks for watching.